Okay, so I'm finally going to get around to trimming this tram 1174 UHF antenna for a GMRS. I've been using it a couple of months and it's done pretty good. I just want to shorten it. I want it as short as possible, uh, but I also want it tuned for maximum performance. So I'm going to go for the old perfect tune on this thing, see if I can attain it. But first, let's see where it sits as it is. All right, using the Midland Mobile 275 here. I'm going to go with channel one, see what it looks like. Okay, that was a 1.57, 1.58. Now if we go to 15, see if it matters much. And you can see it doesn't really, 1.59. All right, try to repeat her 15. I'll put it in the 467 transmission range. 1.28 and 22, so we got 22. 1.27. First, I guess they gotta get the whip out of the base. I get the appropriate Allen wrench key. Loosen up a little bit. There we go. Take it out. Put a flush on the end here. And then you go down here. You got 11 and a quarter. That's what you have for an for a whip. All right, here's the cutting chart for 11.74. And it says to take the whip out and you want to do, eh, I guess if I want to center on 465, I would have cut it at 10 and 5 eighths inches. Here's a half, here's 5 eighths right there. If I can see that. Look, no hacksaw this time. I actually got a Dremel tool. Well, it's the same measure twice, cut once, right? Looks like it's right. It looks it's a faint mark, but it looks correct. All right, it cuts a little bit rough right now, but it's. Looks like it's pretty much right at 10 and 5 eighths, maybe a little bit extra. Okay, so if you watch my other videos at all about tuning antennas, I, I, I slowly trim it down. This time I just did the whole thing. And I'm gonna see what we uh, have here. Hopefully, I haven't checked it yet. Hopefully this is it. This is good and I didn't do too much. So we're gonna do 22 repeaters, see what happens. Wow flat one you notice the power is up too. You can go to one one and six uh, we got for 15 we have 109 repeater 15 repeater 15 it's flat okay I can live with this pure 22 said it was flat as a pancake Okay, try and get this as short as can be. Hopefully we'll get in a garage. But right now the overall antenna length, the antenna itself, put at the base, is right at 13 inches. If I include the current mount, it is right at 14. I might be a hair long to put this on the van and get it in the garage. But right now it's near Christmas time and the garage is full of junk and the garage isn't getting in the garage. <laughs> the van is not getting in the garage right now. So I have to wait and see if that will be accomplished. But 14 inches overall is pretty low profile. That should be able to get any car I can think of in a garage. Uh, sport, utes, crossovers, it depends on how tall it is. 
that Sienna van over there in a regular six and a half foot garage, cutting it close. So that'll be a test for later. But right now, the one and done cut on the tuning. Anyway, hopefully this is beneficial to you and don't be afraid to cut it to what they say to cut it at. Um, or if you're a little skittish, you can go a little bit longer. You can always cut more off, you can't add it back. Have a good day.